poppin' yo, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're taking a look at another uh, game review, and we have been taking a look at fighting games, quite a few of the Smash clones. So let's take a look at the main one that is on Xbox, Nintendo, PlayStation, and PC. It is Brawlhalla. Please, if you do enjoy this series, which I know quite a few of you do, please do leave in the comments below what games, movies, series, cartoons, anime you want me to watch, review, and I'll get it out there within the next couple of weeks uh, after I've watched it or played it. So without further ado, let's get into Brawl Brawlhalla Brawl Holla is a fighting game that is like Smash, and it has a roster of different characters. Um, Brawl Holla is a free-to-play fighting game. Uh, developed by Blue Mammoth Games, it was originally released for Mac OS, PlayStation 4, and Windows in 2017. With ports for Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, Android, and iOS released later. Full crossplay is supported across all of the platforms, which Fortnite pushed and innovated for, and it is now the standard norm for games. So, you can now play this, uh, and I used to play this pretty much most Sunday mornings. Uh, it'd be me, and I'd play it with a couple of my friends. We'd just absolutely sweat it out. And I did have two mains. I did main Ember. She was the archer, I do believe, because I did enjoy the archer characters. There is three types of characters, which is very limited. You have the archers, the gunslingers, and the heavy hitters. And that is it. They're the three characters, and they're all exactly the same, just reskinned and re Like, you know, their moves are reskinned. Where, oh, you'll have a, a, a scythe. Oh, you'll have a big hammer. They do the exact same moves. You have a sword. You have a stick, exact, no, a sword or an axe, exact same moves. You have a spear or a trident, exact same moves. You have gauntlets. You have drill hands, exact same moves. This is the weakest fighting game out there. Each character is pretty much clones of each other, just reskinned. And they do have collaborations. And they have quite a few collaborations as well. They have the likes of Avatar The Last Airbender, John Cena, The Rock, some other WWE stars. They also have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They have Adventure Time. They have Ben 10. They have Assassin's Creed. They have Rayman. There is so many different crossovers in this game, but they just reskin characters to be them. Like, for example, uh, Budva does have an alternate skin to be The Rock, I do believe. I could be wrong with that one, it's just an example. But I did think I would like Ganesh. He is like the tiger, the saber tooth tiger sort of warrior. But I'm not a big fan of it. I'm not a big fan of him. He is more of like a close-range fighter, and I prefer the long-range fighters. Example with my archer being um, Ember. She is like a good archer. She also has animals which are on her side. There is so many different characters in this game, but there is li lit little to no differentiation between them. You can play 1v1 or 2v2, and characters are best when you use two different characters. Like, you use a long-range and a close-range, and that is a decent team. That is all you need. Just a long-range character and a close-range character, and that's all you need. I did use to play as Jaden, but... Uh, I lost interest in playing as Jaden because uh, he wasn't that good, to be fair. And it does get quite boring. There is a weekly character rotation, so every week the characters will change. Uh, like, there is a set five characters that you can use for that week, and the week after it will change. Yumiko, that is the person that I used as well. She has a pretty decent, uh, like, spirit fox attack, which I quite like. But it's a very simple art style, very basic art style, um, with it being 2D, very cartoony, cel-shaded design as well. Um, but that's it's, it's a very cartoony fighting game. The characters have big heads, tiny bodies. It is very reminiscent of that uh, football game with the big heads, like the shoe that you play on your phone that everyone used to play in like school. That's what I remember it being, or looking like... It is very boring. There is very few maps, and they don't update it as often. They're not like an active development of the game, making updates so it doesn't get boring and repetitive. 
the most updates that you get is a new battle pass or a new collaboration, and that is it. No new characters, just reskins of old characters. And, yeah, it got quite boring and very repetitive. Um, it's very intense and very tense battles that you can have. Uh, and some characters can save yourself from falling, others don't. The moves are pretty easy to use. Like, the move set's pretty easy to, like, work out and use. So the controls aren't hard. The art style's simple. There is no voice acting. So there's a couple of grunts, but that's about it. The music is pretty weak. I didn't really enjoy the music, so I always had it on mute. Uh, plus, the music got distracting from the actual fight. And... It is going to be one of the worst fighting games, in my opinion. I am going to give it a four. I'm going to give it a four. I do like the collaborations it has, but they cost so much money. It is a free game, so we'll give it that. So it does need the microtransactions, but it's £20 for one reskin of a character so you can look like Finn or Jake or Ang from Avatar. It's just a reskin of a character that you're paying 20 I know Fortnite is like some of the cheapest skins, but I don't know. I think Fortnite is like the best in currency. I think Fall Guys is expensive. I think Apex is expensive for characters and skins. And I think this is really expensive. Um, especially when it's just a skin. So it's the character that you already grinded for. It's like, it's like Apex. You have to get 21 levels to unlock a new character. Otherwise, you have to wait till they're back in the weekly rotation. And I did buy Ember, so I have her to be, like, my main. But, honestly, it's it's a pretty basic game. I really do like her wolf. Her wolf attack is good. It's a good power attack. It is a basic control scheme. A to jump, B power move. Y, like, a, a light, X a light attack, and Y is, like, a super. And that's pretty much it. There isn't much else to do other than those four core buttons. And I know I, I play on Xbox, but I can translate it to PS4, Nintendo, or PC if you would prefer, because I am bi-gamer. I'm a bilingual gamer. I can play on any console. Put the remote in front of me and I can play it. I, I will not struggle. Unless it's PC. I struggle a little on PC, but other than that, I can do it. It, it, it It's just the same button layout, just different like colours and letters or shapes. Whichever you're playing on. Um, but yeah, we do have a Ben 10 stage. I think they get creative with the knockouts and the new stages. But with the characters, they don't make a whole new character for Aang. They just reskin one of the ones they already have. So it's a pretty lazy free-to-play game. And I know I'm shitting on it a lot. But to the other ones we have right now, it doesn't stand out on its own at all. It, it, it isn't a standout game. It's a free-to-play chibi fighter 2D drawn fighter game. People did not have high hopes for this. It was not a smash killer. It was its own thing. It was pretty well received, I'm going to say. I haven't seen many people play it or complain about it. There is quite a few videos of it on my channel of me playing it. So you can go check that out if you do want to. And it'll just be me and my friends having an absolute blast. Um, majority losing because we didn't win that often because he wasn't very good. I think I also did a live stream where I fought against Brandon and Kaysen, my cousins. But, again, it's it, it's a pretty weak installment for the fighter game. <sighs> and there's not much else to say. There is no story. There's no storyline to it. I do believe it does have its sort of, like a... You know, like how Overwatch and Fortnite have, like, their championships and their sort of really high players play this game and like competing for money i do believe it has one of those and i did when i first saw that i was very confused i didn't think it had it that big of a player base to be able to do that and fund that but if they do good on them just in, in my personal opinion my personal preference playing this is pretty bad there's so many other games that are much more worth your time there's so many other games that are better than this one that you can play that are also free so it, it, it doesn't even have the free aspect going for it. It, it. it was just sat on my console for a while until I deleted it to make room for another game. I didn't even play it. I forgot it was even there. Just, I'm just not happy with it. It's just not a game 
that I am too fond of. It's not like a game that I've built memories on. I, again, like I just played it for a couple of rounds with my friends on a Sunday morning, and that was it. The only time I played it, and that was like every two weeks. It's just, just not good. So again, I do stick with my four. It does deserve the four. So other than that, I hope you enjoyed this YouTube video. See you all in the next one. Have a nice day and goodbye. Stay home and stay safe. I will say it is more of the creative games with their own unique characters and their own unique stages, but there's just nothing behind that. They're just character design. There's no law. There's no story, but. Some, ga most, some games don't even need that to be a good game, but the controls are decent, the art style is pretty basic, and the gameplay is very overdone. It is a very saturated market for this type of game, so I don't think that they stood out very well against the competition. So other than that, hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.